pleasure. Yeah. Shall we move on to our next piece? Yes. Um, this is a very important object associated with the Armagh footballers. Their first ever All Ireland in 2002. Um, it's it's looks you know quite underwhelming. It looks but, broken. Yes, it is broken, and it was broken by um, our Mass football manager that year, uh, Mr. Joe Kearney. And why did Joe? Will we ask him himself? I should go on. Joe, welcome to the show. What happened? Well, this goes back a long way. It goes back to 1977 when I did in an All Ireland final against Dublin, which unfortunately, fortunately, we lost. 5-12 to 3-6. I was marking the late great Brian Mullins oh, of course, yeah. and when the game was over uh, Brian asked will I change jerseys and I said no. I, I, I don't like changing jerseys. I think I'd be giving jerseys away. <laughs> okay. So uh, the game was over and uh, uh, the, the GEA gave us that beautiful memento there for being runners up and on the front of it was a little bit of silver uh, but it fell off over the years. <clears throat> but many years later I got the Armagh job in late 2001 and Ama had a very, very good team. They were being beaten, they were unfortunately beaten in by three All Ireland winning teams, uh, Mead, Cork, and Galway, in the three previous years. So the team was good enough to win. But people talked about maybe being afraid of Crow Park and not being able to win. And Muir Almanac said that it, 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 it was never going to happen. Mm -hmm. So uh, while the boys were, were very good and winning, I was wondering was there something in the minds that at half time we'd go in doing all right and come out the second half and not perform. So uh, in the all Ireland final, uh, I had it planned the week before myself and my right hand man, Eamon Mackel, that uh, we need to do something in case there's a problem. So I said I mentioned about the plaque I got, which I had for 25 years, and uh, every time I seen it in the house, I felt I was a loser. Oh. So he, he says, I had to think for you now, he says that he had an all Ireland medal that he bought in an auction. And I said, that's what I do. So at half time, the usual thing went in and checked was everything all right, talked about the problems we had. And I says, boys, just before you, we go out, I want to show you something. <clears throat> and this is something I showed the plaque, and this is something I've had in my house for 25 years, and I don't want you to have one of these. No time for, for, the, for the rest of your life to look at it. So I just turned and I hopped it off the wall in the shower, and there's a few cracks in it there. It was actually it's broken four, in four places. So what was the score at half time? Oh, we were getting beat by four points. And you said, this isn't going to happen to us. Swipe it against the wall and said, come on. Yeah. Awards to that effect. I can imagine it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I said, this is what I want you to have. And I got the, 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 the medal from my good friend, Eamon Michael. And I went around every player's face. And it's amazing when you know when you're looking at somebody, A to A, that you have that full concentration. Say, this is what I want everyone you used to have. So there wasn't a word in the dressing room. But I said, there's only one, one thing we can do we got to do it. Okay. So Kieran said a few words went out and uh, uh, we picked up the pieces of the plaque later on that evening to win, a winning dressing room. You won. Well done. Yeah. Oh, what a great story. Thanks, Joe. That's a good job. <laughs>